All right, on to day two of my paleo thing. And um, just it's morning time, having the breakfast stuff or getting it prepared. I'm having a cup of coffee uh, with a very, not even a whole teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon of pure raw honey in it to sweeten it. And then a uh, banana. And then I'm boiling a dozen eggs. I'm just gonna eat probably a couple of them, but then I'll have the, um, the others already pre-boiled and easy to access. So this is how I'm starting off day two. All right, so we went out to the grocery store, got a few things, and I have to be at a podcast in like 10 minutes, so I've got about maybe two, three minutes to eat something and get out the door. I'm starving for uh, lunch. So what I'm gonna have is a couple of um, bison sausages, um, like bison smoky type of things, um, with some grape tomatoes. And um, this is my lime juice in the thermos from the other day. Uh, we're checking out the ingredients on this bison uh, smokies. And um, it's just bison, water, sea salt, cane sugar, mustard, paprika, celery juice, and natural pork casing. So it's all pretty clean stuff. I'm gonna eat two of them and really quick, scarf them down and hit the road. So I'm back from my doing my podcast and once again feeling a little bit hungry so I found uh, to snack on I'm gonna have a banana uh, with some of the organic peanut butter and I've got a iced tea that was a dandelion tea from yesterday but it turns out the dandelion didn't really make it very tea like um, so I added just some uh, green tea with ginger and uh, so yeah I'm gonna snack on this and then Look around and see what else I got to snack on. So I've had a uh, couple of snacks that I didn't put on film. Um, I had uh, another one of those bison sausages with a few more of the, of the uh, grape tomatoes. Um, I also had a uh, carrot that I dipped in some of the organic peanut butter. And I had a homemade dill pickle. Um, and now I'm going to have a little bite of... Um, little bite of uh, I think this is halibut um, with a few um, blackberries the uh, halibut um, Mahoney had had uh, lunch with her niece she was babysitting and they had some breaded halibut and so I just took the uh, bread off of it and I'm just gonna eat the um, what was their leftovers I'm just gonna eat that little piece just by itself all right, about to have dinner for tonight. Um, Mahoney cooked steaks. Didn't put anything on it. Nothing except for a little bit of salt, pepper, um, some uh, asparagus, wild asparagus that I picked myself in the coulee, and mashed potatoes. So a real straightforward steak and potato, vegetable kind of a dinner. Um, I'm st still drinking iced tea, uh, just the sun tea. Um, the green tea and with a little bit of ginger, a little bit of sunflower, or uh, not sunflower, uh, dandelion flowers in there. So that's what we're having for dinner. So it's uh, nighttime now, about 9.30 uh, at night, and Floyd Mayweather is just getting ready to fight uh, Manny Pacquiao. And I'm really craving junk food. I've been in kind of a bad mood the latter half of the day uh, just because I want junk. <laughs> I just want to, like, I keep thinking about different things, like chocolate chip cookies came to mind today, and I was like, man, why can't I have some chocolate chip cookies? So I, I think it's just, it's all mental. It's just because just cause I'm not going to eat it, and that's why my mind is all focused on it and stuff. But then, you know, sitting and watching the fight, you want snacks, you want beers, and this kind of thing, but not tonight. So... But I, I did decide to uh, to make a snack that would be, you know, still like be a little bit fulfilling and yet at the same time um, won't be as bad as going just over the top with it. So what I've come up with here is um, a bowl of popcorn. It's got a little melted butter on it and that should fulfill some of the, you know, cravings I have for the fat stuff without any having any sugar, you know. And then I've got my uh, lime water. And so that is what I'm going to have for my snack as I watch the uh, 
the Mayweather Pacquiao fight and hopefully that'll uh, get me through this evening and um, tomorrow I think it's going to be another tough day because it's got a bunch of family over it's actually my birthday and so who knows but um, at least I'm getting through today